Hello, my name is Dustin Judson, and I'm an electrical engineering major here at SFA. Hi, my name is Urban Brona. I'm also an electrical engineer major here at SFA. I'm Kevin Claypool. I'm an electrical engineering major. For the summer undergraduate research experience, our team decided to investigate inverse kinematics through the, through the construction of a Selective Compliance Assembly Robotic Arm, or SCARA for short. A Selective Compliance Assembly Robotic Arm is a robotic arm in which two axes are free and the third is locked. So in our case, the X and Y axes are free to move about and the Z axis is locked. Uh, these, these kind of robotic arms are commonly used in industrial applications and medical applications in order to automate routine tasks that uh, workers or you know, pharmacy technicians or, or anyone could uh, free up to save costs, save, uh, maintain precision. Uh, they're, they're, they're very useful devices in the industry. So inverse kinematics is an important topic in robotics because those are the mathematical equations that give us the movement behind anything with uh, serial linkages. So the, this design in particular is great because it is it only moves along one plane. So the and it's parallel. So the inverse kinematics is fairly simple for a system like this, as opposed to something like a six degree of freedom robotic arm, where you have multiple solutions for for uh, different uh, for the same endpoint. So with this setup that we have right here, where um, both uh, linkages are concave, we only have one solution for each endpoint, as long as we don't break this singularity point right here. And in the mathematical equations, this is where, you know, the math no longer makes sense, you, you know, dividing by a zero or something imaginary. So we had to implement these uh, mechanical stopper so we wouldn't break that point and um, we wouldn't have any problems you know in our code or anything you know Kevin if you want to talk about that mechanical design aspect sure the mechanical design aspect was really uh, first of all it was it was all done on on shape uh, which is created as a network solution by the folks who make SolidWorks um, basically we started with a one-fourth scale model to begin just to determine the correct distances based on the kinematic solutions uh, that were necessary to, uh, to be able to control correctly through the electronic uh, uh, solution, the SCARA. So once we scaled up the model from the one-fourth size scale to what you currently see, uh, we immediately ran into issues with uh, not only the uh, the torque on the end effector when the arms are extended, but the materials that handle it. Uh, so we tried several different uh, types, PLA, ASA, polycarbonate, and nylon carbon fiber, which is what we ended up finally using. The, um, the bearings that we used are to aid in uh, dealing with those issues of the bend uh, at the end effector because the end goal is to maintain accuracy uh, even at the far distances and if it's bending down well it's pointing in so uh, other other uh, issues that we hope to deal with uh, this semester going forward uh, have to do with the bearings here at the very end which are just lazy Susans they're called slew bearings uh, in the mechanical engineering world, but they have a little bit of a little bit of a jostle when you're, you're able to move. So that's contributing to it. Uh, uh, further adjustments to the model might deal with that. You know, adding some adding some ball bearings underneath here to maintain a raised position. Uh, some things that we're still working on, uh, but overall, uh, this would. Uh, this would uh, work as a uh, full-scale model of the SCARA arms for a chess play field. I was responsible for the electronical design that controls the robot itself. Uh, in order to do this, I distributed the different tasks that we needed to complete uh, among four different microcontrollers. Once we have issued a command to the robot using keypad and LCD, it goes to the main brain, which then solves the inverse kinematic functions and 
gives uh, positions for the motors to each motor controller, uh, to, to each motor controlling chip. Uh, these are actually the motor controllers. This project started uh, when one of our professors had challenged us, uh, Dr. Hector Ochoa, to come up with a, a, a project that would inspire incoming freshmen and prospective students uh, to get involved with STEM, robotics, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering. Uh, we had thrown around a couple ideas and eventually we settled on the idea of a, a robot garment that plays chess. The reason being is because, you know, most STEM majors or most people who are in, in our fields, we've, we've, we've all played chess before, so it's something that anyone could interact with. Um, this will eventually, th this is only a small part of a larger project. Uh, eventually we're going to have a full cabinet with this arm mounted on it, chessboard that lights up, shows movement. We would like to thank the College of Science and Mathematics for sponsoring our project during, uh, through the summer undergraduate research experience. Uh, we've made a lot of lifelong friends between ourselves and the faculty, which uh, will benefit us you know, as, as we go on to industry and uh, as we you know, are, are working together to continue our education here at SFA, whether it be Capstone or the IEEE Robotics. Uh, Robotics Club or uh, any, any other projects we might work on. Uh, we had a lot of fun this summer. Thank you.